Hello and welcome everyone, this is Mr. Math again and today is um, a special video about the arc tan or the inverse tangent and pi. Okay, we want to have a look at this and first of all we want to find a Taylor series for the arc tan and then what we want to do is we want to find a series expression for pi but actually we will find one for pi over 4. Okay, so let's just start off and you might <laughs> look at this and say, again, geometric series? Really? Yes. Why am I using the geometric series again? Because if um, we plug in minus x squared into this equation, then we are having nothing else than the derivative of the arctan. So if we integrate it again, we get uh, the arctan. So nice, isn't it? So um, very important again here, the magnitude of x should be smaller than 1. And uh, you might be asking yourself, why is he using all the time the geometric series instead of the Taylor uh, series approach? Because it doesn't matter which approach you take, if you get a Taylor series of a function, then this is unique. Okay, this means there is no other kind of representation for the Taylor series and uh, it's enough to find one. Okay, now let's just plug in for x, we will plug in minus x squared, but still x is smaller from the magnitude than 1, because if you square it, it doesn't change a lot. Now what will happen, uh, so this, this kind of relationship doesn't change if we replace x with x squared, because still x squared has to be smaller than 1, leaving you back to uh, the magnitude of x has to be smaller than 1. Now, what we see here is that we have on the left hand side 1 minus minus x squared which will give us the 1 plus x squared that we need in order to integrate it and get the arc tan out of this. On the right hand side again we have 1 plus minus x squared because in this x we plug in minus x squared. In this x here we plug in minus x squared and also here and so forth. Now important uh, an important note is that you see for all the odd powers our minus sign will still remain and for the even powers our minus sign will cancel. Okay, so write it down. So we have 1 over 1 plus x squared here on the side which is nothing else. If we integrate this we will get the arc tan or the inverse tangent and on the right hand side we get 1 plus minus x squared so it doesn't change and again here an odd power an even power so the minus sign will cancel an odd power the minus sign will come in front the odd power will cancel the minus we get 8 to the f f uh, x to the 8 and here we get minus x to the 10 and so forth so you are adding these guys now let's integrate it again and uh, again what we know is that um, this geometric series and with that also this here is uniformly convergent and we can um, interchange the order of integration and uh, summation here on this left hand side we just get the arc 10 and on the right hand side we integrate 1 we get x we get minus x squared integrated give, will give you minus x cubed over 3 x to the 4 integrated will give you x to the 5 over 5 and so forth so what you should notice is that our sign is changing so this is an alternating sum and secondly uh, the uh, denominator here is always uh, the same as the power of x Okay, and you see it's, uh, uh, we only have uh, odd powers of x. Now what is important here to note is that we actually would get an integration constant, a constant of integration, but you can again, um, in a very similar fashion as to the logarithm Taylor series, we could just plug in 0 and see that this constant has to be equal to 0. So we will just leave it away and again the magnitude of x should be smaller than 1. Now we will play a little bit with this representation and I will do something that you normally should not do but we will later on tell or better say why this is allowed. First of all we, I will plug in arctan of 1. You know here x should be smaller from the magnitude than 1 but this is almost the same argumentation as for the logarithm because the right hand side converges um, we can 
use this kind of representation and it's meaningful we get arc tan of 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 to the 3 over 3 1 to the 5 over 5 minus 1 over uh, 1 to the 7 over 7 and so forth so alternating sum let's just have a look at what this guy is and uh, this series actually goes back to Matava, Gregory and Leibniz. Uh, actually Matava was the first one and uh, Gregory did uh, was the second and Leibniz rediscovered it so to say and uh, I think it's named after him most um, in most uh, European countries because Leibniz was the first one uh, to show that this is really convergent. Never mind. So um, Let's go to the next line. We see that the arctan is equal to pi over 4. Now, how does this come? Okay, I'll explain you in, instead of uh, watching the arctan of 1, think about the tangent and the value you have to plug in to get a value of 1. Okay, so uh, um, remember the tan is 45 degree has a value of 1. So what is 45 degree in arc length? Pi over 4. Now that's it, this pi over 4 here. And on the right hand side we just have a very interesting sum it's the alternating series of the inverse odd numbers okay so 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 11 and you might say wow that is cool and um, you could just sit there and try to calculate with your calculator or a computer use anything you like MATLAB or anything like this and you would see that this is not converging very fast and I explain you why it doesn't converge that fast because remember we we told that the magnitude of x should be smaller than 1 but now we are actually at the limit okay we are going to the limit x equals uh, to 1 and what will happen then is we have a very very slowly um, convergent series okay it's it's damn slow in order to increase the speed Leonard Euler used a very specific um, a formula for the arctan arctan plus 1 uh, arctan of x plus arctan of y can be written as the arctan x plus y over 1 minus x multiplied with y. This is nothing else than the um, addition theorem for uh, the tangent angles. So nothing else. It's, it goes back to John Mackin, I think, or Mashin, or how it, he's called. No, an Englishman, I think. Now, what we can do with this formula is we can break this arctan up into two parts, okay? So we go from the right hand side to the left hand side and have values that are smaller than 1 and have much faster convergence. And uh, this was what Euler did. He found out that 1 over 2, uh, 1 over 3 would give you again 1. So arctan of 1 over 1 half plus arctan of 1 over 3 would give you the arctan of 1 again and you would get faster convergence. Now Euler worked a lot on this and he found uh, he broke this up in smaller and smaller pieces because the smaller the value you plug in the faster your series will converge and there is this famous formula for pi over 4 you can break this up into 4 times the arctan of 1 over 5 minus the arctan of 1 over 239 this is very very strongly a convergence and you will get very very good precise results but remember you have to calculate the arctan value just plug in 1 over 5 into this evaluate until let's say um, x to the um, 21 or something like this and do the same for the arc 10 and what you then do is you just plug it in and you get a value for pi over 4 okay this is the method and uh, which with with which you could calculate pi with um, very high precision okay and actually that's it if you like my videos please subscribe give thumbs up and if you still have questions feel free to ask and I will try to answer them as fast as possible so that's it and see you guys.